have a great Nate Orchard story. Well, Nate Orchard, who's at the Combine, competed there, uh, I think is going to be well thought of by NFL. He's very long. You, 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 Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks have made long, meaning that their wingspans mm -hmm. are, are long. They create great uh, confusion for quarterbacks with their arms in the air and such. He has a, the wingspan of a seven-foot man. So the, I think he's going to be coveted at the next level. He was a terrific sack guy this year. But for me, as a, as a fledgling broadcaster, it was very, very difficult. His name, Nate Orchard, is not his given name. His given name was Nate Fakafahua. Now, as a, we as, as, that? As a young, as a young no. broadcaster just starting, I promise you, you're going to work extra hard to get Fakafahua right. I guarantee you that uh, you don't want to screw that one up. Hey, the sack by Fakafahua. Coach, you, how happy were you when he dropped that name? That's all I have to ask you. Hello, are you guys talking to me now? Yeah, good Kyle, morning. We're uh, with you now. How, how happy were you when Nate Orchard <laughs> dropped his somewhat hard to say <laughs> third last name? Well, that simplified things somewhat, but we have about uh, 40. He's used to it, yeah. Team, and so, so we we get good at all that stuff. So, but uh, Nate, you know, Nate was uh, obviously a huge part of our team last year, his senior year, and and uh, couldn't have been more proud of what he accomplished, both on and off the field. Got his degree in hand. Uh, was a team captain for us, was the team leader. He was the leader of the leaders and, and just had a phenomenal senior year. Kyle, you, you mentioned all the Polynesian kids on your team. They've been a huge part of the Utah program for years. Do you have to practice extra sometimes when you get before you get into a home <laughs> to make sure you got it just right? You know what? There's a little bit of a learning curve up front, but once you get, once you get the technique and you understand how the vowels <laughs> blend together and, and what sounds make what, uh, it, you actually get pretty good at it. And and through the years, uh, you know, I'm pretty well versed now in, in uh, the pronunciation of the Polynesian names. You've had a number of guys this year uh, go to the combine, which speaks terrifically of your program and the depth of your program. What have you? What are you hearing about the, how they performed? Well, I think they did some good things. Um, you know, it wasn't all uh, as good as they would have hoped, but you know, Caitlin Clay, I, I know, is uh, I think he ran a four-five-one. I'll tell you what. There's not many guys in college football that can catch him from behind, and so I, I, his functional speed is is uh, is much better than that. But I think overall, um, when you look at it as a whole, I think uh, our guys uh, did a good job over there. One of the guys that you and I spoke up who came out early, Jeremiah Potassi, uh, performed with the offensive tackles. What do you think is his upside as he goes to the next level? Well, he's a big, strong kid. Uh, you know, that's obvious. Six foot five and 335 pounds. He was one of the bigger uh, O linemen, I think, that were, that tested. There was, there were some real monsters. There. I saw some 350, 360 pound kids. But, but uh, I think CJ has got a, a big upside as a as a guard. My, my own opinion. I think he's an inside guy, and uh, I think he can flourish there. Now, for us, obviously, he he played tackle, and that's where he was. Uh, most valuable to our football team, but but I think uh, he could be uh, an outstanding uh, guard and you know have a have a chance to uh, play a lot of years in that league. You have uh, taken the Utes from the Mountain West, where you dominated, now to the Pac-12. Couple years not going to bowl games. This year you get to the Vegas Bowl, have a big win. Where do you see the program headed from here, Kyle? Well, we're excited about the direction we're heading and, and uh, what we were able to accomplish last year. Uh, you know, the Pac-12 particularly the South Division, is as tough as it gets in college football. I mean, it was, what was there, five of the six teams at the end, at year's end uh, ranked in the top 25, so it's very competitive. But uh, we feel, and it's been a process, and we knew it was going to be a process when we joined the league, and it was going to take three or four years to, to ramp up and get the, uh, really the, the speed and athleticism is what we lack going in the perimeter speed and athleticism. We felt like we matched up pretty good at the line of scrimmage right out of the gate. But uh, it's been a it's been a you know recruiting uh, battle for us and, and getting the right guys in the program and we think that that we've uh, leveled the playing field quite a bit you know we still got a ways to go but but I think last year we made big strides. Kyle, people think that our jobs are easy as head coaches. You recruit players, you <laughs> coach them up, they go off to the NFL. It's a simple thing, but you had to do some uh, patchwork on your coaching staff. You had some guys take off for other programs. You had to put other pieces into place. Have you got all that done? You feel good about it? We do, and we it's uh, you know it's one of my least favorite parts of the job is is hiring staff and and uh, when you have success, you're going to lose guys. And and uh, when we had the, the great year in 2008. 
it was very similar. Uh, the year we went to the Sugar Bowl, we, we lost both coordinators uh, and, the, and a position coach, so we had three guys to replace, which is the exact situation we found ourselves in this year. But but we're situated now. We've got everybody in place. We're at full strength and, and uh, forging ahead. Kyle Whittingham, thanks for joining us today on the Rich Eisen Show. I appreciate your time. Hey, appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you. Absolutely. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.